Hello. Assalamualaikum. Salam sejahtera. Anjung saya. Dan yang ini sini. Yogi Hello South Korea and friends from all over the world to our fourth activity session of International Project Malaysia South Korea by Sekolah Kebangsaan Kampung Melayu and Gonyun Elementary School of South Korea. Okay, I hope you didn't wait uh, too long because there were some technical problems uh, just now. So before we go any further, I would like to inform you again with a big, uh, brief background of our program. The International Project Malaysia South Korea is a first ever partnership exchange between Sekolah Kebangsaan Kampung Melayu Luang, Johor and Gongyun Elementary School school okay um it is a three months dual program starting from where uh second september uh, 2021 until our last session uh, that is the closing ceremony on the 23rd november 2021 and today is our fourth activity session which will be deliciously informative okay i am looking forward to this and i i hope you do too so throughout the program there will be six activities that will occur from uh, our school program to game music and culture of both countries it is our utmost pleasure to have this opportunity to work with our colleagues from south korea and we'll be looking forward to learn more about our korean friends culture ladies and gentlemen once again welcome to our friends from south korea teachers and pupils of gong yun elementary school Selamat datang. Welcome. Puan Yung Nida. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now open today's program with a recitation and interpretation of the dua. With that, I would like to call Muhammad Hafiz Zikri bin Muhammad Zahid to recite the dua. Please welcome. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Allahumma aftah alayna hikmataka wa anshur alayna min huzaini rahmatika ya arhamar rahim Oh Allah, please grant us wisdom and bestow upon us the treasure of knowledge Oh Allah, the most generous and loving Amen. Okay, thank you, Hafi, for the wonderful recitation of the dua. Okay, so before we start for our uh, before we start our activity for today, let's listen to the speech of Mr. Dong Wu Kang, Mr. Kang. Senior Assistant of Students Affairs Department of Gong Yun Elementary School. Without further ado, please welcome. Okay. 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 Okay, we're going to wait for Mr. Dong Wu Kang. Hold on. Me. Mm 
Tak boleh share semalam dekat situ. Semalam pun ni. Okay. So I think we are having some um, technical problem or the lines is not very secure here. So we're going to, it's going to take a bit while. Okay. Um, I am looking at some comments here. Oh, okay. Okay, the video is up. So let's listen to Mr. Kang's speech. Good morning, my Annyeong to everyone um, in the comment section. I see some new names here. Uh, Iliana. Iliana. Where's Iliana? I saw Iliana just now. Okay. Hello, Mr. Kang. Carry on. Okay, we can't hear Mr. Kang's voice. Uh, I guess Korea is um, very far from Malaysia. Uh, oh, hi. Iliana Abdullah. Shout out to Iliana Abdullah from, I think she's from Shah Alam. So, hello, Aniza Binti Sarman. Hello, Teacher Mazia. And hello to Dia Hanan. Okay. Um, we can't hear Mr. Kang's voice. Okay. you for having this exchange be possible. It's a pleasure for our school to interact with the Malaysian school. It will be a great opportunity for our students to be able to communicate with students from other countries and to express themselves in other languages. In addition, it helps students to have global citizenship. I think students' English skills are improving through these exchanges. We decide to talk about six topics which can share each other culture. It's already time to start discussing the fifth topic, food. I think this topic will be a great experience to compare the food of the two countries. Also, I want to tell you to thank you for the gift. Uh, drum, okay, chocolate. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Students liked it very much. It seems to be 
a souvenir of Malaysia. Is that right? It was very impressive thing uh, that we could feel the culture of Malaysia. We enjoy the chocolate you also sent us. Okay, this chocolate. Okay. I hope all students learn more through this exchange program and experience the joy of living together in the world. Thank you. Bye. Good morning. Okay, I think um, that's all from Mr. Kang. Right? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Kang. So now we're going to uh, we're going to move to our next section. So um, I hope you can bear with us today. I guess the lines were not so stable this morning. So without wasting any time, please welcome our Miss Farida Binti Ahmad to take us through our activity today. So today's food, uh, today's topic is Malaysian food and Korean food. So you will be, uh, you will be exposed to our uh, culture and our food, and also uh, we are going to talk about the Korean food. Uh, uh, today we have uh, Miss Farida and uh, Miss Annette from uh, Korea. So without wasting any time, I hand it to you. I hand it over to you, Miss Farida. Hi everyone, I am Resha Shafika. Now it is the turn for the most awaited day, I guess. Today our life will be focusing on food. Everybody likes it, right? Later on, we will talk about food in Malaysia and Korea. Watch cooking demonstration and a special segment about Ramadan. Let's get started! Thank you, Raisha. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, everyone in Malaysia and hi Annette and children over there in South Korea. Hi, hi Annette. I hope everybody is fine today. And I'm glad that uh, you like our souvenir scent. Okay, you like the, what you said just now? Chocolate, it's, it's, it, it is dodol I think. Okay, back to our program. Now let us start with our first segment Malaysian food. Okay, Malaysia is a multiracial country. There are many races and ethnics live in Malaysia. To name a few, there are Malays, Kadazan, Orang Asli, Chinese, Indian, Sikh, and Iban. Okay, since uh, there are many ethnic and races in Malaysia, therefore Malaysia have varieties of food. Now I'm going to share with you some of the most popular food among Malaysians. The first one is nasi lemak. Nasi lemak is a significant dish for Malay. Chicken rice, a Chinese dish and nasi kanda Indian dish and next is laksa, yong tau fu, rojak, roti canai and here we have 
air batu campur or in short we say A, B, C. And next we have cendol and the most popular is teh tari. It's like pull tea. You pull the tea. Okay. Uh, uh, some more we have sate. Panso. Uh, sate is like uh, what do we have? Uh, skewed chicken or meat. Uh, it is like sate. And we have panso. Uh, our friends in Borneo, in Sabah, they have panso. It is a it is a dish where we cook chicken in the what do we call it? Bamboo. Uh, we cook chicken in bamboo. And also we have ambuyat. Okay, ambuyat. And last but not least is roti canai. I'm sure many of us know roti canai very well. And we have lots of kuih actually. Uh, these are only a few of kuih uh, that I found uh, the picture in the internet. Uh, to name a few, there are um, apam, onde onde, uh, kuih kochi, what else? We have curry puff, vade. Uh, vade is uh, Indian food and it is very nice, spicy. And we have kuih chara with meat on top of it. And this one is taku, I guess. Uh, and we have uh, the kuih are very colorful and they look so delicious, right? Okay, talking about food, uh, there are certain regulations uh, for Muslim. Okay, as, uh, as I know that our friend in Korea would like to know uh, certain, we like to know the basic about uh, food for Muslim. There are basic requirements of food to consume. We Muslims are guided to have uh, halal, permissible, and toyiban, which is good and healthy food. In the Holy Quran, it states that eat of what is on earth lawful and good. This verse implies that humanity is expected to eat, use and act in accordance with what is not only permissible but also good, pure or wholesome. Okay, basically we are allowed to eat uh, uh, seafood, vegetables, fruits, and also cattle. Uh, some of the cattle here that I managed to list are goat, sheep, buffalo, chicken, duck, camel, and cow. And there is a requirement that these animals, before we eat, it, should, it must be slaughtered by a Muslim. Okay? We cannot simply uh, uh, what cut it, eh? And there is a restriction. We are prohibited. We are not allowed. Strictly, strictly not allowed to eat pig or any producers of pig, like um, lard, pork, bacon, and we are not allowed to take any kind of food which contains alcohol. For example, we have alcohol like uh, beer, uh, whiskey, and some of dessert like ice cream, they also have uh, elements of alcohol, then we cannot take that kind of ice cream. Other than these two, we are also not allowed to eat animals which have these categories. Uh, they, they have sharp claws, like eagles, animals with fang, like tiger, uh, uh, wild animals, in short. And we are not allowed also to take, uh, to consume animals which has venom. So Islam really protect uh, the Muslims from taking 
dangerous uh, dangerous food okay and here uh, in order to assist muslims in buying food there are halal logo stick on the food packaging these are examples of halal logo uh, which are recognized not only in malaysia but worldwide here here are the few of it and this one is the halal logo uh, produced by malaysian authorities so when we buy food we see this halal logo it makes it it makes us um, confident to consume the food okay here are examples of imported food in our supermarket uh, there are kimchi uh, to name a few eh? kimchi uh, the food from korea um, we have samyang very popular nowadays and uh, also topoki uh, also saw topoki in our superstore so they have this halal logo halal logo okay okay uh, that is all about malaysian food and now i would like to share you uh, after talking about those delicious food of malaysia uh, produce, uh, consumed by the multiracial people now i would like to show you a cooking demonstration video of our pupils uh, let's watch it Thank you. 
The door is ready where it cannot see Look at the color. The pandan leaf gives to attract this color and it is so pretty. Now we take a small amount of the dough and put it onto our palm and put some palm sugar into the dough and rub it into a small box. Alicia and Kalisha, uh, I appreciate your hard work. I hope you guys enjoyed the video just now. It looks so simple, right? And in fact, it is, it is simple. I hope our Korean friends can try it out after this. Okay, now let's move on to the next part of our my segment. Quiz time. Are you ready? Wow. Our Korean friends clapping hands. So, Annette is eager. Are you ready with the answers, Annette? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Yes, yes I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Okay, I'm before ready. we carry on with our quiz, I would like uh, my friend over there, Annette, to introduce herself oh, and <laughs> the students. Yes. And Sangup Zian Hangya, could you please introduce yourself? Okay. Uh, uh, do you show me? Yeah, I can hear you. What? Okay. Huh? Introduce yourself. So good to say. Ah. So? Ah, yeah. My name is Hangyeol. I'm, I'm, yeah, Hangyeol. H A N G Y E O L. Hangyeol. Yes. I'm 13 years old and I like Malaysia and I, I like eating food. Oh, yeah. You know what do you know about Malaysia, Hangul? Is I like uh, my my parents go. 
sini. <laughs> okay. Okay, time okay. is running. So let's move to Tian. Oh, Tian. Um, wedding clothes? Okay. No. Yeah, Tian. And then let's move to Tango. Hello, my name is Tango. <laughs> Cool. Okay, cool. Uh, let me introduce uh, my students as well. Here we have Raisha Shafika. Raisha, Hello. wave your hand. Raisha, okay, say something, Raisha. Hi, my name is Raisha Shafika. I am 11 years old. I am from SK Kampung Melayu TS I am from class 5 a.m. Okay, next. Okay, both of them are from year six, are in year six and year five. Okay, now let's uh, proceed with our quiz. Okay, okay, first. Name this food. Uh, this food. First, first food. Okay. Can you name the first food? What is it? Mimi. Okay. Before that, I'd like you to pronounce all this food. First one, nasi lemak. Nasi lemak. Okay. Hangul. Hang oh, I only remember hangul. Hangul, mm -hmm. can you pronounce nasi lemak? Yeah, nasi lemak is all. Ah, nasi lemak. Most delicious, funny. you know? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Nasi lemak. Second, mm -hmm. chendol. Chendol. Yeah. yeah, chendol. Easy, right? Third, roti canai. Roti canai. Roti, roti is bread. Roti is bread. Okay, nasi just now is rice. Okay? And fourth one is laksa. 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 Mm, laksa is made of fish. Okay? And uh, fifth is rojak. Rojak. Uh, rojak is mixture of uh, uh, vegetables and gravies. And last one is A, B, C. Can you remember what is A, B, C stands for? Um, I... Alphabet? No, I... Alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Ah, we don't have that uh, that drink until Z. We only have A, B, C. Ae, batu, campo. Ah. It is actually, okay, uh, uh, it is actually shaved ice. Mm -hmm. Ah, we take the ice, we shave it, and mix it with uh, condensed milk, uh, syrup, and mm. some jellies. Okay, yeah. and also oh. palm sugar. It's very nice. Okay. <laughs> then back to the question. First one, what is it? I think this roti chani. Wow. Roti chani. Roti chani. Roti yeah, chani. Roti chani. Okay, we don't know yet. The answer. I will tell the answer afterwards, okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You cannot spill the bean now. Wait until the final part. Okay. Uh, um, second, what is it? Um, rice, rice, rice. Nasi lemak. Nasi lemak. Do you know that? No. Nasi lemak, nasi lemak oh. is made of coconut milk. So it's very oh. rich actually. And we have it with sambal, spices. Mm. Spicy. Spicy sambal, okay? And we have eggs and vegetables as well as anchovies. I'm giving you the answer actually. <laughs> okay, third one. What is it? Uh, la, uh, loza? Laza? La, 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 La la kasia, la kasia, la, laksa. La, la, yeah, laksa, laksa. 
Laksa. Laksa. I said la just now I mentioned that laksa is made of fish. Hey. But this one hey. got no fish. Have no fish. ABC. ABC. ABC no. have milk. Milk. Oh. Chendol. Chendol. Okay. Okay. We lock oh. the answer. Chendol. Yeah. You want to lock the answer? Chendol. Okay. Chendol. We'll see after this. And finally, number four. Chendol. What is it? Um. The shape eyes. Uh, this one is uh, uh, not so high. We can have the higher, uh, more high kind of uh, shape ice. Stack of ice, eh? Yes? What's the answer? A, B, C. A? A, A, B, C. Okay. Okay. First one, we said roti canai. Second. Nasi, oh, nasi, nasi lemak. lemak. Nasi lemak. Third, chen. No. No. Eh? Chen no, not rojak, not laksa. Okay, number four is? A, B, C. A, B, C. Okay. okay, let's see the answer. Okay. Yeah. I, I think very delicious, Loti Chai. Wow. After this session, you can watch uh, YouTube videos of how they made uh flying roti canai delicious nasi lemak you have the review on youtube and delicious chendol and abc both of these are made of uh, uh like chendol made of uh, coconut milk but abc is made of uh condensed milk okay that is the yeah. difference okay next i want, I want to eat roti canai Okay, next one. What are these? Oh, uh, halal logo. Halal logo. Halal logo. Okay, now you know halal logo. You want to buy food for your Muslim friends, you can check it out. If they have halal logo, then you can buy. Yeah. Halal logo, you're right. Okay. Uh, one is the halal logo. Produced by Malaysia. 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 Uh, produced by Malaysian Authority. Okay. Oh. The end. Oh. You want some more questions? Okay, now um, my session is over. I would like to hand it to Annette in South Korea to continue with Korean food. Over to you, Annette. Okay, hello. My name is Annette. It's very nice to meet you. I am Gungyeon Elementary School grade 6 class for a Korean teacher. Today we are going to learn about Korean food. Let's move on. Okay, first, let's learn some Korean words about food. So before we start, we should know the name of morning, afternoon, and evening in Korean. So in Korean, morning is Achim. Can you repeat after me, Afif? Atin. Atin. yes. It, it means morning. And afternoon is Tamsim. Could you repeat after me, uh, Raisa? Tamsim. Tamsim. <laughs> Tamsim means afternoon. And Tanyak means evening. Tanyak. Tanyak. Can you remember? Atim morning, Tomsim afternoon, Tonyok evening. Okay. So when we meet in the morning, we say like good morning in Korean is Joon Atim. It means good, good morning. Can you repeat after me? Tun Atim. Tun Atim. Yay! Good. Tun Atim means good morning. Okay. Um, but Atim, Tomchim, Tonya could also refer to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So when you want to say breakfast, we say Atim. And for lunch, we can say Tomchim. 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 For dinner, we can say Tomchim. Yeah. Yeah, 
Uh, for Koreans, we uh, daily eat pop, cook, and kimchi. Pop means rice, and cook means soup. And kimchi is our traditional um, pickled cabbage. Uh, it is a little bit spicy, but it is very healthy, made of cabbage pickled with um, red pepper powder. So we uh, basically eat pop and cook and kimchi in each meal. Okay, okay. all right. And let me introduce some famous Korean food. Okay, some of them you might know because it's very famous. Uh, have you seen this one? Its name is Bibimbap. Oh, you've seen it. Uh, it's new. Bibimbap. Yeah. Uh, on top of the rice, we put all various kinds of um, vegetables like spinach, mushrooms, and radish, zucchini, bean sprouts, and everything on top, and then egg, and we mix it with the sauce. And this stuff is made from red pepper, red pepper paste. So we, we put the red pepper paste in it and mix it, stir it, stir it, and eat all together. And it is oh. very healthy. Yeah, it's good for your health. Is yeah. it? Is it like porridge? Is it like no, porridge? No, no, no. Just, just rice and oh. mix rice, up. rice. Yeah. And it's spicy. Uh, you know this one, right? Tteokbokki. Tteokbokki. Tteokbokki is made of rice cake. You know this rice cake. And this is tteokbokki. Inside the tteokbokki, the sauce is also made from red pepper paste. So it's a bit spicy. But these days, there are many various kinds of tteokbokki. So like noodle tteokbokki. It has a, a very long noodle-like rice cake, and just in the cookie and rotate the cookie. It, the sauce is like cream sauce plus tomato sauce. So rotate the cookie. So there are many kinds of the cookie. Okay, next one. Kimbap. This is very famous. Uh, in, yeah, kimbap. So I want to, I, I want let you know, kim means seaweed. You see the seaweed at, at the end? Yeah, and pap means rice. So kimbap means seaweed rice. And let me uh, tell you how to make kimbap. First, on top of the seaweed, spread or the rice. And then put all the ingredients like radish and spinach, everything, eggs, ham, and then roll, 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 and then cut it. And then it will be kimchi like that. Okay, you understand? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And the next one is bulgogi. It is marinated beef. Bulgogi. Yeah. Beef, and you have to marinate beef in the sauce like soy sauce, garlic, 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 onion, and then grill it on fire. And then the beef and the very sweet and okay. Do you remember all the famous food? <coughs> yeah, and, oh, also, <laughs> and I want to show you. Uh, what Koreans really eat. This is my students made. Uh, they took a photo of their daily um, dining table. This is morning. You can see the rice and some kimchi and seaweed. Yeah, rice, soup, kimchi and eggs, something. Yeah, this is morning. And for lunch, this is our school lunch. I took a photo and rice and soup and kimchi apples and chicken like that and on wednesday we have special lunch day so they provide with very yummy food such as can you see the noodle tteokbokki here yeah 
and courage and dim sum and grapes. And Happy another Wednesday school lunch, curries and sharing cutlet. And you can also see the kimchi. That's the basic one for Koreans. Yes, these are all the lunch. Yeah. And oh, the tteokbokki. You can see the tteokbokki. <laughs> and for dinner, it's all the same. Rice and soup and some kimchi and all side dishes. Yeah, this is chicken. I see chicken. Chicken. And, oh, we like pork actually. Grilled, uh. grilled pork and some kimchi yeah, here. And you can see uh, beef. We like grilled beef. Yeah, mm. this is hapte. It's another famous Korean traditional one. Tteokbokki. Yeah, and soup. Some soup. Yeah, beef like that. This is our regular dining table. I hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move to our food activities then. Okay. Okay. Now I will show you some recipes how to make Korean food. Okay, let's watch it. First, let's see how to make the cookie. Okay, are you ready to watch? <laughs> The food I, I would like to introduce is Tapoki. Tapoki is one of the food Korean food. Today I will tell you how to make it. First, 340 milliliters of water and water. Of water. And then put the rice cake and powder salt with them. If you want, you may add fish cake, cheese, green onion, and meat. All you have to do is to remove it with You eat with the soup, it tastes better. Okay, this is how to make a And then next, how to make triangle gimpa. This is triangle shaped gimpa. It's one kind of gimpa. And there you go. Let's go. Thank you. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. Ramen. We have it. Oh, you have it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we tried it, and while making it, there came strong smell. But when I went to taste it, uh, there was not much of a smell. A bit spicy. At first, it, it tasted like something new. But she got addicted to it. And she kept drinking the soup. She wants to have it later again. And there are my students who tasted it. And they all said it's a bit spicy, but it's very yummy. Yeah. Look at them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So oh. instead of that. Yeah. Oh. Afif, have you tried this one, this one? Afif and Raisha? Yes. 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 Isn't it spicy for you? Is it spicy for you? 
Yes, it's uh, spicy. <laughs> okay. okay, later could you recommend me some not spicy ones? Okay, let's go. Thank you. Okay, let's okay. make our um, lesson. Okay, okay, then right, uh, let's see the most of us. Okay, raise your hand. Okay, first one. Raise your hand first. Oh, good. Okay, Raisha, you got the answer. Two. Raise your hand first. 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 Raise your Good morning. Ah, uh, yeah, Achim. Achim is morning. Good. Joe. Good morning, and we have good. Joe, Achim. Joe. Joe. Joe, Achim. Oh uh, yeah, Arida, you know the answer. <laughs> Janet. Sorry again. Okay, this this was donut. This was just a question. Good means oh, good. Donut team. Donut team. Yeah. yeah. Right. Donut team. Yeah. Donut team. Donut team. Don. Don is good. This was good. Okay. Don okay. okay. means good. Yeah. Number three. Mm, pickle cabbage. Pickle cabbage, the red one. Yeah. yeah. Can you remember? Office. Office. Louder. Office. Kimchi, you've got the answer. Kimchi, yeah, you've got one point. Ooh, uh, kimchi becomes so popular, <laughs> isn't it? Ne? Yeah, kimchi is pop yeah, so popular. What do you call rice in Korean? Oh, rice. Wow, yeah, good. <laughs> I see that. Wow, it sounds Korean. Yeah, you sound like Korean. Okay, next question. What is the name of this thing? This food. Oh, what is that? Kimbap. Kimbap, good. Yeah. Kimbap, Kim means seaweed and bap means bap. Yeah. Kimbap seaweed, right? Mm, I like seaweed. <laughs> what is kimbap not? The red one is many kimbap. Oh, okay. Red pepper paste. Red pepper paste. Yeah. 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 That's so nice, students. Okay, good. This one is OX. Is it right or wrong? I think. Wrong. I think. Wrong. Why? Because is made of beef. Excellent, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Bulgogi is made of beef. Yeah, good. Excellent. Yeah, next question. Which day is Gungyeon School special lunch day? Good. <laughs> Which day is Gungyeon School special lunch day? Which day? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday? We don't go to school. Did you mention just now? <laughs> <Some little. laughs> this is a pop up. Pop quiz. Okay, right. <laughs> oh, yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, right. Wow. <laughs> yeah, on Wednesday we have a special lunch. Okay. Okay, okay. special lunch. Wednesday. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. One kind of topoki. <laughs> 
Rosie, Rosie, right? The third one is Rosie, right? Second? No. What was the first one? In the in light. No, no. Okay, okay. Uh huh. Pardon? I am the member of the first one. The second one. First one? Yeah, he remember the first and second one. Yeah, yeah, you can you can tell any any of it, just one. Noodle topoki, black bean. I only remember the the color black. <laughs> Oh, last like one. Yeah. Wow. Well, we have answered into 10 question. Eh? What is the main ingredient of the tea? Rice cake. Rice cake. Yeah. Rice cake. Wow. Cool. Wow. Oh, wow. to is rice. Yeah. Rice cake. So, not students. Yeah, good. Oh, lucky I'm bringing the smart students today. Oh, yeah, they are. So I'm safe. Start. Okay, okay. I'm done with my lesson. Uh, you're done uh, with your part. Now, uh, uh, thank you, Annette. Uh, uh, Russia. Wow, everything looks so delicious, right? Thank God for all his blessings. All right. After having so many days enjoying good food and drink, do you know that there is a man where Muslims not only in Malaysia but all over the world are not allowed to eat and drink in daytime? No, no, no. If you want to know more, no. let's find it down in our last no. segment. My no, name no. is Ramadan. No, no. Okay, uh, before we end our program today, I would like to uh, share with you a special video, a special segment, which is uh, requested by our fellow friend in Korea. And I'm, we are glad to present you with the segment, uh, Ramadan. Let's proceed with the segment. Okay, Ramadan. Okay, Ramadan. What is Ramadan? Ramadan is the ninth month in Islamic calendar, Hijri. And the most significant event in this month is fasting. Besides fasting, uh, it is also the month where Muslims perform Salat Taraweh, Taraweh prayer, and also pay zakat. Okay, what is fasting? I know that many kinds of fasting in the world and for Muslims, uh, we, we have this kind of fasting. Uh, definition of fasting for Muslim is an ibadah where one is abstained from eating and drinking from dawn until sunset. So we perform fasting as a sign of our uh, submission to Allah. Eh? And the act of fasting is meant to remind Muslims of the less fortunate, like the poor, and to reinforce the need to be thankful. So remind ourselves to be thankful for what we have. Okay. Uh, there are certain categories uh, uh, who should fast and who are excused. Uh, so uh, during fasting, during Ramadan, all Muslims adult are compulsory to fast. And also teenagers and for children, they can take the opportunity to practice fasting. They can try to fast and if they cannot proceed, they can break their fast in the morning or during lunch. Okay, uh, They are not compulsory, but they can practice. So when they become adult, they get used to it. And there are person, there are people who 
excuse from fasting. Okay, they are baby, babies not required to fast. And for adults, if they are sick, they are excused, exempted from fasting. Pregnant woman and woman who breastfeed her father, uh, her baby, sorry. And for pregnant women, if they are fit to fast, they can fast. But if, if they feel they cannot carry on, uh, they can uh, break their fast or not fasting at all. But uh, they have to compensate after Ramadan. Okay. And also for uh, women who have menstrual, so they cannot fast. They are not allowed to fast. Okay then they have to pay, uh, compensate the fasting in another month. Okay, now to be clear, I uh, will show you a video of our standard, our YouTube pupil, Ari, in, her day, in his day in Ramadan. Okay. Okay. Ari is a year two student of Sekolah Kebangsaan Kampung Melayu. Okay, now we'll see the video. He wakes up early to have a pre-fasting meal before dawn. Okay, I'll give the side the Okay. Now he's visiting his neighbor to give food for fasting. Nice neighbor, right? Thank you. Thank you. And later when the sun set, when the sun set, it is the time, the most waited time for Ari to break his fast. It mm. is a sunnah to eat dates first. Before we eat our breakfast dates, can you set the we must eat the day first. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Okay, uh, just now you see how happy Ari and his family fasting and why it is a sunnah. Uh, our prophet Muhammad teaches us to break our fast with date first because date is a kind of food or fruit uh, which is sweet and uh, soft and it is uh, easy to digest and it gives instant energy for our body. So after fasting for the whole day, uh, about eight, 8 to 10 hours, so our body is quite weak to digest the hard food. Okay, That is the reason why we take dates. This is the Yes, Annette? Yeah, I'm done. Oh, yeah, done. <laughs> uh, if, you are not, if you want to ask questions, you can ask right away. 
Okay, uh, this is a Ramadan Bazaar in Malaysia where we sell food uh, in the evening before we break our fast. See, there are many people and there are many choices, lots of food we can buy and there are Roti John as well. Uh, we have Roti John, John Brick sell in our country, but the seller is not John. And it is uh, uh, before pandemic, COVID-19 pandemic. After COVID-19 pandemic, uh, we, uh, we have to restrict the number of people getting into the bazaar. Okay, there are other practices in Ramadan besides fasting. Just now I said Ramadan is fasting month. It is holy, the holy month for Muslims. Other than uh, fasting, we also prom uh, promoted to show, to do good deeds, say kind words. We don't back, back bites, we don't curse. We also always say kind words uh, while we are fasting. And we donate more, uh, other than paying uh, the compulsory zakah, we are encouraged to donate. And Number four, we read Quran a lot and perform the additional solat, which is solat tarawih. And uh, in the month of Ramadan, it is compulsory for Muslims uh, to pay zakah. Okay, uh, what is zakah? Zakah is an obligatory contribution from the wealth from uh, the wealthy people and the contribution is taken from their wealth to help the poor and needy get their basic needs fulfilled at least during Hari Raya or Eid. So there will be nobody left out uh, celebrating Hari Raya, we hope. Okay, and then huh, this is the most awaited day for Muslims after uh, fasting for 30 days, okay? Uh, the day is called Idil Fitri. Idil Fitri, Fitri. Idil is day, okay? The day, this is the day where Muslims uh, celebrate their fasting victory and it's considered as victory, eh? And they also seek and forgiveness. Seek and give forgiveness to their family members, relatives, neighbors. And also, this is the day where they have decent food and dress nicely. So, we hope that by paying zakah, all of us have decent food, at least on their tables. Okay? And there are the beauty of Ramadan. Okay? We pay zakah, we fast, and then we perform taraweh. And uh, this is the... There are wisdom behind what we did throughout the month, okay? One is patience, okay? By fasting, we abstain ourselves from eating and drinking even if we are hungry and thirsty. So, even if we have, we have food and drink in front of us, we have patience. Even if you're hungry, you cannot take it. So, we learn to be patient. And next, the wisdom is Caring. It, my, uh, Ramadan teaches us to be caring. A fasting person should ponder on the spirit of caring and sharing which fasting develops in Muslims. All fasting Muslims share the same pain, hunger, thirst, and bitterness of deprivation while fasting with the poor and needy. So we have the empathy. We experience the same uh, uh, with the poor. They will have compassion. Then we have the compassion for the needy around the world. So the feeling is there when you fast. Okay, generous. Okay, let's. I said just now during Ramadan we give lots of donation, and Allah uh, will grant us multi multi uh, multiplication of uh, reward in the hereafter. Eh? Uh, by giving donation and the compulsory zakah pay, teach us to always do charity to help the poor and needy. So, we don't keep our wealth to ourselves only. We 
we have it to to help our poor and needy and sincerity and honesty so as i said um, fasting is not only uh, you abide yourself from eating and drinking but you must start it with your intention so it is very important if you don't uh, uh, say your intention so your fasting will not be counted so the intention so you have to keep your intention to fast and you have to be sincere and there is no one except allah knows the truth of a person's fast you can go into your room secretly drink and go out of your room uh, fasting again so uh, this is uh, the element of sincerity and honesty it is possible for a person to refrain from fasting without anybody's knowledge so it is very important Fasting is about you and your God. Okay? Mm. And fasting also, fasting in Ramadan also purify our body and soul. How you purify our body? After fasting, uh, eating for 12 months, uh, 11 months, we have one month, special month, uh, Ramadan, where we rest our intestines. Okay? We don't take food in the daytime, but at night, it's very short actually the time is very short to eat lots of food so that is the function of fasting to overhaul our body actually <laughs> okay and then uh, it is a purification of our soul we teach ourselves uh, to say kind words do good deeds read what allah says in quran and pray tar uh, taraweh so we purify our soul throughout ramadan Okay, this is the practice, eh? uh, practice uh, for the Muslims. Okay. Are you ready for the quiz? Do you want to ask anything? Yeah. Do you have anything to ask before we start with the quiz? Yes. Anything? anything? <laughs> uh, so, when is the Ramadan? In which month? Uh, Ramadan is the ninth month according to Islamic calendar. Uh -huh. So you have to take the Islamic calendar. It's not starting from January. Okay. It is start from Muharram. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Muharram, Safar, Rabiul Awal. And the ninth month is Ramadan. So before we start Ramadan, uh, we know the Ramadan comes when uh, we look at the Luna. Eh? Uh -huh. okay? Okay. okay. Quiz. How many days do Muslim fast? <laughs> How many days? Ah, I got that. I I know. Ah, Yeah. How many days? How many? Like Hang you. TV is the part of the go. Ah, I got ah, come uh, the clue is one month. How many days in a month? Hundred. Oh. One month? One month? Which day? How many days? Many days. One month. Thir yes, it's right. One month. How many days? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. No, less than that. Thirty days. Thirty days. Thirty days. Thirty-one. 30? 30, yeah, 30. 30. 30, 30 days, right. Wow. Okay, let's oh. see the answer. Let's see oh the answer. Yeah. Okay, 30 days, one month. Okay, good job. Next. When do they, Muslims, fast? From dawn, A, eh? from dawn to sunset. Or from sunset to dawn. Mm -hmm. hey. 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 From dawn to sunset, eh? Very early in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we see Ari. Uh, okay. The answer is A. From dawn to sunset. Correct. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, bear in mind, eh? When to fast. What is the name of the fruit eaten for breakfasting? 
the special fruit just now. What is the first eating for black frost? Ah! Yes, what is it, Annette? It is date. Date. Confirm? Date. Date two. That's in Korean. Date. Date. Ah! Yeah. Eight. Have you eaten a uh, uh, date before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I eat it. We Koreans yeah. eat it. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Sweet, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next question. The beauty of Ramadan. Can you name? Which are the beauty of Ramadan? Generous. 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 Okay, yeah. generous. Yeah. Generous, patience, honest, stingy, impatient, caring, sincere. Yeah. Uh, we have five, I think. We have five. Beauty of Ramadan here. Generous, caring, hunger. Generous. Do we become stingy after Ramadan? No, stingy. You don't want to share with others. You don't donate. Stingy. What is this? Patience. Uh, oh. Patience. You control. You control yourself. Patience. Honest. 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 You train yourself to be honest. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Samo? Samo, what is the final one? The last oh, one. we have another two. You say just now generous, patience, honest, caring, caring, and, and this year. Sincere. You have to be sincere. Sincere, okay? Let's see the answer. Um, yeah. yeah, you have your answers right. Correct. Generous, patient, honest, caring, sincere. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, then that's the end of uh, Ramadan sharing mm -hmm. with our fellow Korean friends. I hope after watching the segment, uh, watching the videos and slides, uh, you like and have better understanding about Ramadan. Okay? Uh, okay. Have you tried fasting, Annette? Um, not for the religious, um, uh, religious reasons, just for uh, Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Actually, you can. Okay? Uh, I believe you can. Everybody can. Yes. Okay. Thank that God. It's a nice chance to understand Ramadan and Islamic culture. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. That's all. Okay. And okay. Come on, I see that everyone had fun. Hi. I'm back. So everyone had fun. I was backstage and I saw everyone have lots of fun answering questions and and quizzes and talking about food. And, you know, um, it's a very interesting topic to discuss. All right. OK, we have come to um, the end of our activity for today. So our next activity will be scheduled on the 18th of September. So I hope to see you uh, again soon next week. So we'll have another session, which is also very um, interesting and very informative. And we have our friends from Korea who will be who will also be live with us, telling us about their cultures and and their traditions there. So please stay tuned. Next week, we'll still have another uh, activity session uh, for you and for me. 
uh, uh, next week will be the last session that you'll see me. So after that, I don't know, maybe next year we'll do, we'll do this again. Okay. All right. Thank you everyone for your time today. Thank you Farida. Thank you Annette. Thank you children, Raisha and Afi. Okay. And thank you. I didn't catch your student's name, Annette. Uh, I hope you have fun. Okay. Hello. Okay. Till then, sehingga kita berjumpa lagi. Kamsaham Nida. Wabilai Taufik. Bye. Hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye. 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 Bye.